guest is one of the hottest new stars on daytime TV. This year, he was nominated for a daytime Emmy and won Soap Opera Digest Award for Favorite Newcomer for his work as Eric Brady on Days of Our Lives. Take a look at a clip from Days of Our Lives and see why he wins awards. Well, how can I prove to you that my feelings for you are sincere? I don't know that that's possible. I don't want to talk about it anymore. I think actions speak louder than words. So I'm going to show you exactly how I feel about you. Please welcome Jensen Ackles. Hello. Boy, she showed you. Yeah, pretty Not much. like she was wearing a cat suit or anything. I don't know what she was wearing. Maybe. A sweater set. I think that's what it was. It was, somebody told me that's a sweater set. I wasn't paying too much attention to the clothes, I don't think. Now, now you do a lot of love scenes? Because I was reading, I read, that you won't do love scenes. <laughs> this, has I... been, this has been such the biggest thing. I, I, um, some magazine printed that one time that, that I won't do a love scene and that my parents called the... Uh, the production people and said, my boy will not do a love scene. And, and Why would they do that? They didn't. Oh. It's been I the biggest it was some thing. Sort of punishment and, no, I, I don't know where it came from. It's instead just, of a timeout, no love scenes. No love scenes. But uh, no, I mean, it's. I think that that's a big part of soap opera. Do you want love scenes? And, and <laughs> just making sure my They want love scenes here. with you. Yeah. <laughs> you do a lot of love <laughs> You do a lot of love scenes. Um, well, actually, I haven't done one yet. You haven't done one? I have not So done what one. you're doing here in the talk show is... a little teaser. Uh, a little teaser. No, but you want, you want people to know that you are available for love scenes. Uh, well, I, I guess more or less, yeah. Yes, but you are... Aren't you, aren't you, like, taken in real life? Don't you have a girlfriend? I do have a girlfriend, yes. Yes, and she's okay... <laughs> it's not a bad thing. Yes. They go, oh, like, they were next in line. <laughs> If it wasn't for your girlfriend, it would have been all these women right here. Okay. Yeah. Now, is she an actress? No, she's not. She's not? not no. And she's okay with the fact that you want to do love scenes at work? She, uh, she really doesn't talk much about it. She, she doesn't even watch my show. I don't she think. doesn't watch your show? No. God, who is she? Um, well, she, her name is Lisa, and she, uh, she's a graduate of UCLA, and so... How did you very, meet? We met through friends um, about two years ago, and we were friends for about a year. Well, and then the one day, way. it just kind of clicked. It clicked? Kind of clicked. You just slipped and it clicked? Yeah. Well, <laughs> I don't see that anywhere on this card. Well, I'm not following the card. Okay. <laughs> but that's, I think that's interesting when you're a friend with somebody and then you make that, that click. It was, just... yeah, it was very cool. I've never, I've never really had that, been a friend with someone uh, for so long and then just kind of... Weren't you, weren't you afraid that once you did a love scene with her, you wouldn't be friends anymore? <laughs> This is, this is not going real. Well, no, no, it's going uh, great. No, yeah, no, um, no, but I'm, you know what I'm gets, saying. I'm saying your friends, you want to keep the friendship. It was kind of a that... big build-up, you know, with the, right. with the whole thing, you know, is, is, should I kiss her, or, you know, what, you know, because it would kind of change everything. Cause it, right. So, yeah, it was... Um, but it's working out. It's working out great. That is great. Working out great, yeah. Now, when you're not working on the show, what do you do? What do you do in your spare time? Um... Gosh, I like to hang with my friends. Right. Uh, we, um, I, I live out, my family lives back in Texas, so I'm out here by myself, and we, oh. uh, I, I've got a couple of roommates. And so you live in a house? I do live in a house, yeah. So, and you got a bunch of roommates? Just yeah. Guys. It's like a big frat house. It's a big frat house. Raging parties? No, not too bad. Just with us. Okay. Nobody's invited, you know. We just like, three guys. Right. Raging. Just, raging. just sitting in the Waking living room. Waking the neighbors up. It's just kind of something we feel like we need to do. Party, you know? yeah. Sit, sitting around going, wouldn't it be great if we had a love scene? You know... You live out here in, you're living in California, you're taking, you're partaking of the California dream, are you doing any of the surfing? Or I'm doing, uh, well, not surfing, um, I, uh, I got a couple of boogie boards this past summer. And boogie boarding, that's like body surfing for those people that right. live in California. That's interesting. It's, you doing that? It doesn't take a whole lot of balance, so I'm, yeah, I, I try to get out there and, and do are that. Are you good at that? Uh, yeah. Good. <laughs> no, I'm okay, but I haven't done it in a while, you okay. know, because it's summer, so it's kind of... So you started out when you were a little kid, right? You started out when you were a... The International Sign for Little Kids. You were little, little... The, the, right here? Were you a little kid? Weren't you a model? Uh, well, 
Yeah, my my dad uh, has has been in the entertainment business. Uh, he's he's been an actor in Dallas for many many years. Right. And so when I was a little kid, um, right, uh, he brought me up to his agency, and you know they oh he's so cute. Let's put him in the magazine. So um, I started doing uh, catalog modeling or, or whatnot. Your catalog model. Just a little tyke. Uh, Would you model? Uh, just you're gonna make me say it, aren't you? You know what? It's a talk show. It works better. Okay. <laughs> I'm learning these things as we go along. If we just sit, if we just sit quietly, it doesn't yeah. really. They may turn on a soap, and that's not so bad for you. <laughs> for me. No, I uh, I did some. Uh, one of my more uh, uh, notable things was a Super Mario Brothers pajamas get up type of thing. I I. No, I'm talking about. I'm not talking about what the you three guys wear at your party. I'm talking about when you were a kid and you were modeling. <laughs> Oh, okay. I yeah. thought. I'm sorry. I got what did you What did you model? No, that's. You, what, you were the Super Mario kid. Yeah, Pajama that's. Kid? Well, I never really lived that down. Really? I had them in the uh, bathrooms up on the wall when I was in junior high. And, oh, in school, and everybody school. would cut it out and go, "You're the." Yeah, but it was funny because it was my friends that would do it. You know, they right. thought it'd be cute to make fun of their friend when really it made them look stupid too because they're walking down the hall with me. You know what? Thank God you weren't wearing the Barbie teddy. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> Have you experienced with that? Is it... Once, but you know what? I'm over. It. Okay. Jensen Ackles, ladies and gentlemen, you're great. Thank, Thank you so you. much for being here. Come back anytime. Days of our lives, NBC Weekdays. We'll be back with Karen Smith from Home Improvement right after this.